I'm just going to make a quick video here on this uh, little 22 I picked up. I picked it up basically because I've never seen one before and it's kind of a really interesting little gun. Now mine, I picked it up, it's actually missing a couple of really small parts. But I'm going to show it here, I'll just uh, show what it looks like first. Just like that. It is a Piper Bayard Model 1912 single shot semi-automatic. And it is a semi-automatic. That's what it was advertised in 1912 on the instruction sheet. Even though it's a single shot, it's still considered a semi-auto. I'll show the uh, markings now. It might be really hard to uh, read the markings. I don't know if they'll show up at all because I haven't tried to clean it up or anything yet. So the markings are right here. There's a really long scroll. It's just the patent date and um, you can see the the Piper right here. And then it's got uh, the markings here on the side which it says uh, 22L but that's not what it actually is. It, it is 22 short. You can see the caliber. Whoop. You can see the caliber right here. Caliber 22. And then it's got a kind of a little star right there. Not sure how it will show up. And then there's a, a dude on a horse back here. Which, and it says Bayard on here. And that's all the markings that I've uh, that I found on it. But it's got some interesting features uh, on this particular gun. Like it's a very nice, well-made gun. It's got a, like a semi-adjustable rear sight on it, which is pretty interesting. <clears throat> and the uh, the takedown here. This isn't. It's sort of like all these old guns have a, a, a takedown of some kind on them. It's just like a elaborate type screw on this one. And then it's got the European uh, style sling swivel. Like it's very, very narrow. And then just a stamp trigger guard. There's nothing special about that. Very nice checkering on the, uh, the grip. It's very well done. It's a little beat from the age, but kind of is what it is. And then uh, there's something supposed to screw into the bottom of the handle here, and I really don't know what it is. I was thinking it might be something to uh, adjust the, the trigger with, but actually it really wouldn't reach it. So I don't know what that is, and it's not a sling swivel. It's actually been reinforced in here, and uh, you can see it's threaded in there, because there is a, a hole here for a sling swivel and it's it's been removed so I don't know what this is for there's some something goes in there that uh, um, like it's made like that for a reason so I don't know what actually goes in there and then uh, there's no butt plate at all it's just been um, like the wood has just been smoothed here really well which is it's actually really nice it's not been it's it hasn't cracked it's held up so I guess you don't really need a butt plate like if you have one of these anyways and here's the you can see the checkering there uh, what I'm missing is actually this uh, caulking piece there there is a, a big uh, piece that should go in front of this where this screws in here I don't have that piece that's what it was missing and then you've got the safety on here really nice big positive safety and I'll show this piece right here in a minute And then this side is just a mirror of the other side, so it's nothing too special. The wood is actually very nice on it. There seems to be some kind of grain in here. But um, this is how the gun works. You can see the ejection port here. You uh, actually, you pull back, You would, that cocky piece that I'm missing, um, you would pull back on that. But all you do is you pull back in this piece here this little button it locks 
open like that and then you drop your your 22 cartridge in there I don't know how well it'll show up in there if it'll if you can even see in there but there's like a big ramp right here where you you drop your cartridge in because it looks like if you dropped it in there a 22 short would uh, like sort of fumble around in there you might you know mess with it but actually this this ramp kinda helps you out with that so that's what it looks like in there and then uh, in order to fire it once you you cock it like that you push the button here and it will fly, fly forward like that but that's not how it actually fires that just loads the round and then at this point then you would uh, uh, pull the trigger and it would fire and with mine I think it had a floating firing pin in there because um, there's really no way to set off the cartridge the way like if you look at the bolt face and then there's a little slot I'm not sure if it shows up on camera but there's a little slot down in the bottom and I think there was a floating firing pin in there that actually hit the the rim of the cartridge and I think it's missing on mine um, you, like you wouldn't really be able to see it anyways but that's how this gun functions as a semi-auto and then after you fired it after you pulled the trigger it would fly back like this every time and it catches like this and then you put a new cartridge in and push it like that and then fire it and it automatically locks back every time which is kind of interesting and that's really why I picked this gun up because I've never seen a, a mechanic like that and uh, this is supposedly it says you uh, is only for low pressured 22 short which I I'm not really sure what that means because uh, like I don't know if you pick up a box of of 22 short if it says low pressure on there or not because I've never seen that but maybe they just mean older ammunition maybe the newer ammunition is loaded a little hotter or something like that but anyways I didn't want to make this uh, video too long I just wanted to show this interesting uh, old gun here this is the uh, Piper Baird model 1912 semi-automatic 22 short single shot so thank you for watching.